Welcome back to the channel, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to see what's in the intention spot of your person. This second video is all about intentions. And then we're going to look at your side, which will be on my left for today. So let's get started. We're going to do three shuffles. For Libra's person, the intentions, how they're going to approach, and the conclusion cards, please. For today's energy, it is the 22nd. We will also have a weekly reading coming up right after this. So there's going to be three videos. It's a lot to watch for today, and we're going to do some with Oracle. All right, for their intended feelings, please. Last shuffle, intended feelings, and also how they're going to approach. What's in the cards today? What's in the cards? <laughs> All right, what's in the CADs, actually, if you were from Boston? Let's get started. Intended feeling here at the heart of the reading. Page of Cups is the first drop. Page of Cups. Just marinate on that for a bit. We're going to discuss. Next one is the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They want to heal with you a situation. You could be getting an apology from this Page of Cups. It is an immature card in tarot. That's how many people read it. So it could be coming from a younger person or someone you haven't heard from in a long time. They do want to connect. The Six of Swords definitely states that. And a Page of Wands. You might be invited out, Libras. The Page of Wands to me is to get you to go out. Um, they do want to talk. There's something here about getting something off their chest. And that's the approach. So we have it in a fire card, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's in this conversation that Libra is going to hear? What may I know? Knight of Swords. Some impulsive things said, being very direct. Their intention is, again, I keep feeling this thing to get something off their chest. They could come in very honest from what you typically last experienced. If some of you had an argument with this last person, I am getting something about a talk like that in the past. They're going to be bringing impulsivity to the conversation and a knight of swords. Can I see the matching card to that too? Can I see the m death? It's about an ending between the two of you. Again, this might not be your reading the second one because I do feel a reconciliation amidst these cards. Okay, I'm picking up on someone that does want to reconcile uh, even if it's here at the very lowest of friendship between the two of you. They are sad about an ending. I want to show you my two cards for that. If you can see the red there in her cloak and then the divine feminine energy perhaps trying to start anew, there could be a divine feminine in this one trying to start a new chapter. So they want to heal something, set the record straight is also what I pick, uh, I'm pick. i picking up. Excuse me, just getting back in the swing of things. Sorry, Libra. And I'm picking that up. It's they're, they're sorry about an ending, okay? Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. She's adored at this time. Queen of Pentacles uh, has been protecting her energy in the bonus. She is concerned about making an honest living at this time and being very protective, again, of that beautiful energy that she has. There could be cleansing going on, too, and a lot of meditation. Uh, I felt the need to mention meditation in the first video, so that could be a really big thing that you do this week in like at-home soothing techniques. You could be taking salt baths and just taking more care of yourself. Queen of Pentacles. There's a new person manifesting you in the Magician. I have that and a well-rested person in the Four of Swords. So there could have been a lot of time alone this weekend. A reset is what I call that card. Four of Swords in the bonus. That's Libra energy too. You could be seeing your own cards. Let's see where this Nine of Cups is coming from. Can I see the person's intentions from the Nine of Cups? Honest and concise reading, please. Three of Pentacles. So uh, definitely working together energy. A new person is manifesting you. I immediately pick that up in the cards. Um, definitely a desire to meet with you in the physical. Some of you could be invited out, as I picked up in the beginning of this week's uh, 22nd to the 28th. Maybe some surprising feelings, too, that you could be getting. We're going to see the connector cards for that in the bonus. I have my whole stack here of the fairies oracle communication please let's get that spicy energy going three cards disguise some elements of this relationship are currently hidden okay somebody's hiding their true feelings i feel like that's going to come in delayed though uh libras it's not going to happen right away they're very much just manifesting you to be in the physical at this time 
Can I get more communication from this person? What may I know? Real feelings, real attraction coming from a new person. They do have real feelings. I think they're sensing that you've gone and kind of hermited. I pick that up in the Four of Swords. There could have been a long weekend here where you just, uh, it's almost like you rejuvenated yourself in the Four of Swords. I'm picking that up and they have real feelings. You share romantic feelings with them by exploring. That's what it reads at the bottom. So, and let me just see here what the Queen of Pentacles is. How are they feeling toward her? How are they feeling? Memento, a gift from someone special. Oh my goodness. Surprising anecdotes to this person's feelings so far. Okay, I sense it's a new person. I'm picking up on an Aries. I have a Scorpio here, a Cancer, um, definitely Pisces also in this card. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and another Libra with the Four of Swords. Okay, interesting that your own sign you could also be seeing or connecting to. Can I get the likely outcome of the bonus, please? Likely outcome of this particular bonus. And I'm sorry if I didn't connect today, you guys. Um, I'm just still trying to get my energy back up. So I do apologize if this one did not connect. Six of Wands. Intended emotions are to have success with you. See, I feel like a new person is not going to stop. Uh, there's going to be pursuing energy from a new person. So that's the likely outcome, some success for you that you don't see. I feel like it's going to come in as a surprise. We have the lovers too, extreme emotions. There's two cards that look very similar in today's reading. The almost like the same energy, lovers card from the light seers and real feelings from the fairies oracle. It's like an enamorment. Look at that beautiful energy from Fabio there in the picture. So uh, definitely displaying that. I see a lot of interaction and you going out with this person just to get to know them. Friendly banter and communication that you're not shy from. Six of Wands to the lovers. Last card for that in the bonus. What can I leave my Libras with? Seven of Cups. Lots of options coming toward you in the next few weeks. I feel almost like you get sage advice too during this time and sorry for the long pause because I was channeling certain informations. You get sage advice, you get clarity from certain people. There's also a dynamic here where you weigh like you're the real life lie detector around you of who has great intentions. And please, you know, I, the best advice I could offer is that you really do take this moment, carpe diem, seize the moment of what these seven of cups are, okay? More likely outcome, please. Can I get more? Uh, King of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, somebody missing you too from the past. It's not this King of Pentacles though, Libra. This is a completely different person. I feel like they're more connected to the lover's card, if that makes sense. More of a stable energy. This person's willing to commit in the King of Pentacles and they do want longevity. I'm gonna show that one more time. King of Pentacles, rampant in your readings lately. Um, and I feel like some days I won't see this card and then it pops out for you. So that's in the conclusion. King of Pentacles, can I see the last one too for our bonus, a Knight of Wands. There's like a, a fiery energy that's coming in to display emotion. They don't know where it's going to go with you. They'd rather test the waters to see where that is and where your emotions lie because all they want is success in this first reading. I think they feel like you would be a good match for them if this is a very, very new relationship. A good match for both of you to just get together and talk. Also in a relationship sense, they see you as that already. Um, lover's card to that Six of Wands is like really big. It's very much Leo Gemini energy getting out there almost like holding your hand and wanting to show you off. And that's the feeling that I get from the two cards today. Um, these were your messages. So if you want to comment today, please let me know if there's some of these signs in your life. I would really love to hear from you on that, especially with this offer coming in. This is like the Ace of Pentacles. This card means that she is going to be the receiver after some good karma, after a long season of good karma. 
um, and that could be heading toward you with compassion. Also trying to understand your situation. And those are the ending cards, my dear sweet Libras, with the Six of Wands to the Lovers. I have that today for the singles. I don't know yet if I want to do Twin Flame today and check out the story for that. So we will see in a part three. But I want to thank you for your time and always uh, showing so much support. Thank you, Libras, very much. And I'll catch you in the next future video.